Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we got something very exciting for you. Very, very exciting. Something that I don't I honestly think has ever been done before on the Tube of You. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I'm not really sure. But it's going to be interesting. Basically, we are going to be doing a marketplace mission. You guys love the marketplace mission videos. We've done the 12 wheeler so far. We did the chicken coop. And I think that might be it. But so far, our marketplace missions have not been the greatest. That chicken coop was really kind of a pain. And the 12 wheeler came broken. And it's still getting worked on. A lot of you guys have been commenting about it. It's getting worked on. It's getting fixed. It'll be back up and running soon. But today, we are planning on going and buying a stolen cop car yes you heard it stolen cop car i know you might be thinking it's crazy but it is true i was ripping on facebook marketplace last night and i saw a cop car in my area that was for sale and it starts with a screwdriver meaning it had been stolen before but everything he, the guy said he's got the title for it and everything else so we're gonna be getting to that but before we get started boom it is finally here the guggen squad mondo kit boom this is gonna be my first mondo kit unboxing if you guys don't know what this is this is the guggen squad mondo kit it comes with these lures right here and it's they're basically this thing's built to go out there and catch mondo so you guys know what mondos are giant fish we're gonna go ahead and give this a quick unboxing here and while i'm unboxing it just want to let you guys know that carl's bait and tackle is having a pre black friday sale that actually ends on the 21st if you're watching this video before the 21st go click the link down below and go check it out this box right here is on sale as well as a bunch of other items just until the 21st it's a pre black friday sale but we're gonna get this thing unboxed here this is my first time opening one I'm actually pretty freaking excited. I wish we were fishing today. We don't have time today. We've got to go buy cop cars and stuff, but we will be taking this thing out to the pond very, very soon. Boom, look at that. Straight up Mondo catching baits. We've got the flat banger right here, a little crankbait action. Then we've got the juicy jig. This is a new jig that the Guggen Squad just came out with and uh, comes with that. This shows you everything that it came with right here. Just this little card that tells you everything about it. And you even get an exclusive Guggen Squad sticker, as well as the Zinger. This is the spinner bait. This is in a shad color. Really, really, really good color, especially for this time of year. Kind of getting into that almost winterish time. Uh, if you guys are northern people, then you're probably already ice fishing. But uh, for those of you guys that still have open water, shad colored baits is kind of the deal. Then we've got a pack of Kraken Craws right here. So you can throw this on the back of the Juicy Jig. You can see even what happened here. That color and this color, look at that. That looks like a crawfish to me even matching the trailer. You put this on the back of it, straight Mondos will be caught. And you even get this little Guggen Squad face shield. Let's see if I can open this up. You guys remember that whole unboxing video that all the Guggens roasted me for? See, it's all coming back. Now we've got our own little face shield right here. Boom. Keep the sun off of you. And in the winter, it honestly keeps you kind of warm. Not like warm, warm, but like it keeps the wind off you, I would say. Because like you wear this thing in the summer and it keeps you cool. So I wouldn't say it keeps you warm but it keeps the wind off you. Something about just having something on your neck or your face keeping the wind off keeps you a little bit toasty. Anyways, that is the Guggen Squad Monocle. I'll link down below. It is on sale right now until the 21st at Carl's Bay and Tackle. And they got a bunch of other stuff on sale as well. And you guys have been asking about the Guggen Squad Mondo Optics. They are coming soon. We thought we'd have them by now, but we kind of had a hiccup and we want to make sure everything's perfected. We don't want to release these products too soon where we're not super confident about the product. We're perfecting it, okay? It'll come out this holiday season. You just just be patient. I know a lot of you guys thought it was coming out like right now when you're watching this video. Very, very soon. We will let you guys know when the Guggen Squad Mondo Optics are coming out. But for now, go pick yourself up a Mondo kit and any other fishing items down at Carl's Bait and Tackle. Link down below. Let's get on with this video. What are you? What, do you, what are your first impressions, Slayman? Slayman, this is your car. It's a chick magnet. You just turned 16. Happy birthday, oh, brother. Thank you. What do you think? What are your first impressions? I would say it's a chick magnet. For it sure. is. What, what do you think? <laughs> We're going to do some fun things with this. I mean, you could always just like, if you see a hot girl driving, you could always like pull it over, sure, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Can you do that? Illegal, is that man. legal? Can we do that? What's your name? Eric. Eric, nice to meet you, Eric. Nice meet this you. is the owner yep. that you're passing the torch. Yep. Are you happy about it? Uh, yeah. Will be kind of cool to see it in videos and stuff. Yeah. Do you have any ideas for us for content? Did you and your friends ever do anything fun with it? I mean, we wanted to pull someone over pretty bad. But, but you can't. Yeah. It's frowned upon, I guess, yeah. huh? Felony. He just <laughs> lightly says felony. <laughs> okay. Well, we probably shouldn't do that, but here it is. This is the new car. It says Super Trooper on it. Beanies and migraines? Yeah, that's our friend group. That's your that's your friend group. <laughs> you guys have your own decals, dude. It's got lights, bro. <laughs> Riding that probably shouldn't show that, but there's there's some funny things written on this car that I don't know if we should quite show. But my favorite part is there's a hitch, ten pounder, which means we're hooking up the ten pounder on this sucker, and this is gonna be this is gonna be the battle wagon that we go fishing with. But a bunch of people signed all this. So we obviously gotta have everybody sign it. Guggen's, sign it. Guggen's coming town. We gotta have them sign it. And uh, I heart cops. 
Yup. <laughs> There's a bunch of stickers on here. We gotta get some Ducks decals on here, some oh, Guggen Squad decals on here. But what's the, what's the inside look like? I'm kind of nervous to see. Oh, this is that light. I've always wondered to know how this works. Oh, bro. Yeah, Dude. It turns. Dude, this would be perfect right. ripping down the country roads. Yeah. Like, you would see the deer and Spotlighted. stuff. Yeah. No, no, we're not hunting them. Don't worry, it's illegal. But, you know, just, just looking at them. No way this actually works, dude. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I was really hoping it would have a cage. I, I, thought, I thought it would have the cage. Oh, Little my gosh. on that, but I heard this thing works. Test it. Car have to be on? I think so. Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> you unplugged it. Where did it, where did it come from? Right there. Perfect. Oh no! And then you can talk to the PA. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Are you kidding me? Bonzo. Hello? <laughs> Pull over! You really can't say that. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> this isn't real, bro. The lights. The lights. Dude, this is not real. This is crazy. And these are their subs in the back? Yeah, two twelves? No, I gotta check this out. Oh, oh, there we go. It. Oh, we got we got two twelves in the back. Yeah. Straight bumping, dude. Dude, this is absolutely incredible. Wow. And it, and, it, and, it, and it runs. Yep. That's the best part because we always buy things on Facebook Marketplace and they never run. What was the kicker to the whole running part? You say it started with a screwdriver. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? They got stolen from the previous How, owner. How'd they get it back? Because it says it, Super Trooper on it, and they, no. they were like, oh, that's my car. Yeah, I mean, it's not hard to miss, but yeah. they found it down the street, and they Rip. stole, pretty much ripped the inside to shreds, and they stole the subs out and everything. Really? Gotcha. Yeah. So someone stole it, and now it starts with a screwdriver, so I gotta see, I gotta see how to start this thing. So this is the key to the car. Yep. So if anyone wants to come borrow it, just bring your flathead. You just shove it in there? Yeah, pretty much, and then turn, and you don't want to turn it all the way, but like okay. right when there's a resistance, then it'll start right up. Oh my god. The screwdriver does it. We don't condone stealing cars, all right? This isn't like a, hey guys, if you want to steal a car, get a screwdriver and start jamming it, but I mean, it works. She, she rips, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh god. <laughs> you test drive it? Yeah, yeah let's, let's take it for a rip. <laughs> Strolling through the neighborhood, everybody hates us, I'm sure. The car runs, so we're taking it back to the farm. All right, well, pay for it. Title's in hand. We're ready to go, boys. Woo! The odds it makes it home is not very good. It died in the garage, but it might just be cold and stuff. I mean, it's like four degrees outside today. This might be one of the best Facebook marketplace purchases of all time. I own a freaking cop car. All right, so we got the trusty key here, and uh, we figured, you know, come. Well, first off, about the car, and you guys need to let us know what you want to see us do. It does have a hitch, so we can take it fishing, take it hunting, we can do a bunch of different things. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think we should do, but one thing we're doing is we are hungry. It is lunchtime. I don't see the time, but it is lunchtime right now, and we're at good old-fashioned Burger King. We got one problem, though. Window doesn't go down, so how do you order? Use the PA system. Does it work? Oh, yeah, it's working. We're going to see if we can order some Burger King using the PA system in the cop car. You guys stay tuned. Uh, 
<laughs> cops are definitely on the way. God, yeah, someone definitely called the cops on the impersonating cop kids that are ro rolling around the super trooper car, but it worked. She, she, I couldn't really hear her, and she couldn't really hear me, but I think we got chicken fries, not Dr. Pepper. Bonzo wanted a strawberry smoothie, which is something that they don't serve, so. They should. Paid for. Here we go. Thank you. She gave you the thumbs up. She, she gave you the thumbs up? Yeah. It's good. Burger King check. I need to go get some gas. And then we're headed back to the farm. Oh my. Dude, the whole light came off. Oh god, can we even pull over here? The whole light came off. We literally just got on the interstate. We heard something flinging out. I was thinking, oh, maybe that's uh, <laughs> maybe maybe that was a tire slamming behind us. Do you have your like blinkers? What, what are they the called? The hazards. Hazards. You got hazards on the thing? I don't know. I got cop lights. Don't know. Oh, I can't. No. Bro, that's got to be better than nothing. I guess. <laughs> oh, bro, I was, I was just looked up and it was just flopping in the light. We heard it. We didn't know what it was. I tried. You think, you, think, close now? you think that's the strat? I guess. Is that gonna close? Yeah, it'll I close. think we can get the door to close. Oh what the God. hell? My, my life's only. Welcome to Facebook Marketplace. Alright, now we're headed back to the farm. Yeah! Hit it, boys! Hit it! We're going! Need for speed! Do you think the lights still work? Oh! <laughs> Dude, it's like a rave party in here. What the hell? Dude, imagine like cruising around at night with this. You'd be like, like get some cardio on, just. Let me get the car shut off here. Perfect. We uh, made a quick pit stop here, right off the interstate. Someone was selling hay, so the goats need some hay right now. But we're gonna lope the cop car and my pickup truck and uh, bring some hay to the goats and give them some food. Spilling blinker fluid. Not sure what that is, but uh, we're headed home. Oh, what do you know? Hay goes flying in the interstate. Lights, cop lights, and hay. What more do you want in life? Wait, Lord. which one flew? Because this one was gone. This was the one we put in the back of the car. Yeah. Is there one missing? Yeah. Definitely over there. Okay, don't let that in. Cut that. No, you're not gonna be able to see anything. We thought it'd be fine. We strapped, I used every strap I had, but apparently one just got yeeted. We are just, don't do what we do. We tried our best, but we ended up putting everything in the back of the truck in the mommy car, which is what we should've done in the beginning with, but we're loaded up now. Now we're headed back to the house. Well, well, well. Boom! Dude, how are we supposed to get the lights back on? We need to fix these lights. It's not as cool without lights. Like, it's really not cool at all without lights. So is this thing welded right there, or what's the strat there? We gotta fix this whole deal. I mean, they still work. It's freaking cold out here. Yeah, look at them, they still work. But I mean, like, how do you... So, why don't you... He never did anything with that, can't you just... Yeah, you could probably just... I don't know, duct tape would probably do, do it too. We'll get it done right. We'll super glue it and JB weld it and screw it and do all sorts of things. We'll get it up and running. But we're gonna finish this video tomorrow. We got other things to do with this car, but it ain't that cool without lights. So we're gonna fix it. We'll be back with you tomorrow. You gotta stay tuned. Oh yeah. She ain't going nowhere, folks. Hey, how's it going? It's the next freaking day, and we got this thing fixed. We uh well we put a bunch of screws down in there and rebolted it, and you know, I would just say it's good enough for back roads. Highway, maybe not. But anyways, it's good enough. And the boys are ready. You know who we gotta introduce this to? Felipe. Dude, he's kind of a naughty man. Alright, I'll tell you what. He's he's just he's kind of naughty, so he, maybe he does. But anyways, we need to take this thing down to the goat enclosure. The odds of this thing starting, I'm not sure. It's pretty pretty freaking cold. We'll see if the we'll see if the lucky screwdriver works. But we're gonna take this thing down to the animals and then we're even thinking. We haven't really thought it through all the way, but we're thinking about playing a cops and robbers game. Now I know you're thinking, Flair, you can't impersonate a cop, that's a felony. Hey, I know, it's a felony. Not trying to get that. But we're on we're gonna be on private property, my land. Everybody here knows that this is not a real cop. And I'm not an officer. 
That's what I read the regs on Google. Everything on Google is the truth. <laughs> all right. So when I go to court, all right, I'm using this video as proof that I read on Google. As long as everybody that's involved knows that you're not an actual cop. I mean, it says super trooper on the side of it for Christ's sake. I feel like we're okay. We're gonna play a little cops and robbers with the boys. But first, let's go arrest Felipe. <laughs> We're just kidding, we're not here to arrest Felipe. We just, we're just here to just hang out, show him the new whip. Decided to take it down that back road that I made for ATVs. Hey, it worked fine. Feel empowered, feel like I can do things. But I can't, because I can't impersonate a cop. That's felony, I can't do that. Felipe, what do you think, buddy? Did we, did we scare you? <laughs> yeah, you were pretty nervous, weren't you? This is definitely the best. Qu Quacky, I swear to God, I will grab the freaking 12 gauge. Be quiet. Quacky, maybe he'll respect me now, I don't know. He probably won't. Well, here we go. Here are the rules for cops and robbers. I'm a cop, and it's gonna be Bonzo versus Slayman. And then they're gonna switch. So, I'm designated cop driver, just because I own the thing, and if it crashes, it's my fault, which is what we want. I don't wanna get sued out here. John, designated camera guy, and we got Bonzo, who's gonna play the robber first. Sam, who's gonna play the cop first. The rules are, robber is stealing the mini ATV. They get how many seconds? Three? Well, it's not really. Five. It's just like however fast you can run. Okay, so what we're gonna do is me and Sam are gonna be standing over down yonder. As soon as Bonzo takes off in this, we have to run, jump in the cop car, and chase him. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna chase him all the way down my driveway, all the way down the road, up to the animal enclosure, and then back up the road that is made for ATVs and not cop cars. The goal is for Slayman to peg Bonzo with a tennis ball. If you get hit, I would say. ATV doesn't count. Oh, you don't think so? Uh-uh, it's gotta be a person. What do you think? You think that's gonna be easy? It might be too, we only have five tennis balls. It's a thing, it, it really don't have that many. So I would say we'll start with the person and if you get pegged, your body gets pegged by a tennis ball, you lose. If you make it back up on top, I would say right here is where you need to be. If you make it to right here without getting pegged, you win and then we switch. And then Slayman's the robber and Bonzo's the, the cop that throws it. Okay, yeah, you can do that. Touch the flag pole. With that being said, Bonzo, get ready to get murked. Driving like crazy, dude. Right at the end, the hey, hill. Bro. Good dude, driving. I was just throwing, bro. Dude. You can barely see anything. You guys got close at the that end. Was, yeah, the end is where we got you. Dude, that was the craziest thing ever. I was so scared driving. Like, I was just giving it hell. I there didn't care. one corner of this thing, I almost tipped it. Actually? We were, we slid down. all around. We gotta see if Bonzo can, can hit it, otherwise Slayman is the winner. And we are back for round two, folks. We're gonna try mixing it up a little bit. We got, Slayman's got a chesty on, and then we've got a camera buried in the woods, and then we've got John, he's gonna stay out of the cop car. And we got Bonzo with the head mount. The first round was just one POV, and it looked all right. We wanna make sure we encompass the whole experience because it's pretty freaking crazy. So, what we're gonna do, same thing. Me and Bonzo, we're gonna stay right here. As soon as Slayman takes off, it's cops and robbers, and we're gonna see if we can hit him with the tennis ball. You got this, Bonzo? Yep. Okay, you ready? I'm going three, ready. Three, two, one, and we go.
Dude, you about killed me! Dude, I hit the jump so hard. Did you see the car, yeah, dude? Dude, that was bad. I didn't think I was gonna have any throws because like we were so far behind. We were so like, far behind, dude. I floored it up that hill. I we dude, you were. I don't think you saw it. We went up the ramp, you know, full speed, dude. Just sent it. Dude, I all, did you see me go, almost go off that edge? Yeah. I hit the bump and I almost went straight down to that valley. He was like reaching for the pole and Bonzo smoked yeah. him. That was intense. All right, how do we settle this, boys? I don't, I don't know how many more rounds this thing can take. I don't want to break it today, but. All right, since it's a tie ball game, folks. I mean, I would say Slayman hit Bonzo sooner. So you could say that, but that ain't good enough. What we're gonna do is we're gonna retire the cop right. car just because I feel like at some point our luck's gonna run out. I, that thing's gonna crash. I don't have to crash just. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same loop, the same run of down, back, and around, up the hill. No cop car chasing this time, but time trial. So it's the two robbers, they're gonna go one on one. We're gonna say go, start the time. They're gonna go do their circuit, come back up here. You gotta touch the pole with your hand, and that's how you stop the timer. And whoever gets the fastest time takes the dub for cops and robbers. You guys stay tuned. Bonzo's oh. feeling confident. He volunteered to go first. That's what we'll I see heard. how this goes. I don't know, I feel like I would, but... it's gonna be interesting. It'll be close, I feel like. It's gonna be a close ball game, but this is gonna decide who's the best robber, the fastest robber. All right, it's gonna be on go. Okay. Three, two, one, go. It's kind of anticlimactic since it goes like eight miles an hour and there's not a cop car with lights and sirens chasing, but we'll see how fast he can go. One thirteen, minute thirteen. That wasn't bad. I feel like I how'd drifted, that go? I drifted on two corners pretty good. I don't know if that's fast or slow, but one thirteen, Slayman. One thirteen. Oh, All right, on go. Three, two, one. Go. He might have been. He might have been a tenth of a second ahead, but that's all right. We'll see how close it is. If it's that close, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what we do. He got it! By three seconds! He got it! Oh, it's oh. I don't know, you left early! You left early! Not by much. He beat by three seconds. One minute, 13 seconds, two, one minute, and 10 seconds. Award goes to Slam, and hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed the Cops and Robbers video, if you have any other videos that you want to see with the new cop car, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.